Retouching Brush Tools These tools help us to change the appearance of the selected areas of the image like correcting blemishes, scratches, etc. Spot Healing Brush Tool This tool will help you to repair imperfections on the images like blemishes, dark spots, scratches or other unwanted elements from the image. Open an image. Select the Spot Healing Brush Tool. Choose the brush size from the options bar. Click and drag over the spots to get it repaired. Patch Tool The patch tool is a part of the healing brush set of tools. The patch tool is primarily used to repair larger areas of an image or get rid of any distractions or blemishes on the image. Using patch tool, you can select the unwanted elements from an image and replace them with the matching content from the surroundings of the image. In contrast with healing brush tool, patch tool can define the selection from where you want to apply the effects. Right click on the spot healing brush tool and select the patch tool from the tool panel. In the option bar, click on the drop down list adjacent to the patch option and choose the content aware patch mode from the displayed list. Drag the portion with the path tool on the image which you want to replace. Now drag the selection over the area from where you want to generate the patch. Content Aware Move Tool This tool is used to select and move or extend any part of an image to another area within the same image without the use of layers and masks. As we move, the area left behind is filled using matching elements from the existing background. Right click on the Spot Healing Brush tool and select the Content Aware tool from the Tools panel. Drag the mouse pointer to select the area that is to be moved. Now, click and drag the selected location. You will observe that the portion left behind because of the cut gets filled with the matching elements from the surroundings. Clone Stamp Tool Clone Stamp Tool allows you to copy one area of an image onto another area of an image. We use the Clone Stamp Tool to remove unwanted elements from a photograph. For example, it can be used to cover blemishes on people's faces by copying from another part of skin or removing trees from a mountain view by copying parts of the sky over them. It does duplication of the part of an image by taking the sample pixel from an image and cloning them into another area. Cloning by using Clone tool will retain soft edges on the image and gives more realistic duplicate image. Open an image and select the Clone Stamp tool. Set the brush type, change its size or hardness, select the blend mode of your choice, set the opacity for the stroke and other options for the tool in the options bar. To define a sampling source, click the area of the flower image to be cloned while holding the ALT key. The cursor shape changes to the target symbol. Click and drag along the area where the cloned image is to be placed. While you drag, a plus sign appears on the original flower image, appears indicating the area to be cloned, while a corresponding circle appears on the cloned image. Save the image and close it. Blur Tool the blur tool softens the selected area of an image by giving it a blurred effect. In this way, you will be able to give focus to the selected portion of the image. Open any image in Photoshop. Click on the blur tool and select the desired brush size and style from the brush preset picker. Specify the effect mode and set the strength for strike from the options bar. Drag the mouse pointer over the area that you want to blur. Sharpen Tool The Sharpen Tool is the contrast of the Blur Tool. This tool lets you improve the clarity of our image by sharpening the outlines of an image more prominently. Smudge Tool The Smudge Tool simulates the effect you see when you drag a finger through wet paint. The tool picks up color where the strokes begin, pushes and spreads it in the direction you drag the mouse.